Jesus Christ, dear children. This whole year, we are learning about the source of divine life, who is our God, and how He invites each one of us to have that divine life with Him. Today, we will learn about destruction, the effect of sin, in the chapter four. First. Let us start our class with a small prayer. So children, join your hands, close your eyes and please repeat after me. Dear God, please give me a loving heart so that I may not fall victim to jealousy and pride. Jesus, I believe you love me. Please forgive me from my sins and help me to be a better person. Amen. Before we start this lesson, let us recap the previous class. What did we learn in the second part of chapter 3? Do you all remember? Cain became jealous of Abel, started hating him. Why? because God did not accept the offering from Cain. Out of jealousy, what did he do? He murdered his own brother, Abel. Instead of correcting what was wrong, what did he do? He ended up committing more and more serious sins out of jealousy. When God asked Cain about his brother, Cain lies to God even after knowing that God knows everything. After committing sin, like his parents, Adam and Eve, Cain also could not face God. So he went away from the presence of God. And where did he settle? He settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. So we saw that one sin made Cain commit more sins and he went away from the presence of God. Now let us continue our learning in chapter 4. I want all of you to pay attention, alright? Chapter 4, Destruction, the Effect of Sin Because our first parents sinned against God, God punished them. God said to Adam, You must work hard to earn your living. Get food with hard work. As a result of your sin, the earth will produce thorns and thorny bushes. God said to Eve, You will give birth to the children in pain. Similarly, when Cain murdered his brother Abel and sinned against God, God cursed him on earth. Cain had to wander around. He did not get any yield from his hard work. Do you remember what was Cain's profession? Yes, that's like my good children. He was a farmer. Very good. Imagine as a farmer, Cain was planting seeds in the ground after preparing the field and then water it appropriately. And even then the crops were not coming. He was not able to get any kind of food, dear children. Here we see that God punishes when we disobey him. As time passed, sin also increased. Let's learn a Bible verse that is suitable to this situation. Lord saw that the wickedness of humankind was great in the earth and that every inclination of the thoughts of their hearts were only evil continually. This is in Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Now children, 
Let us look at the story of a good man named Noah. Do you know who Noah was? He was an obedient servant of God who found favor with God in the middle of a sinful world. He lived a life that was pleasing to God and God was very pleased with Noah. You know my dear children what God told Noah one day in Genesis chapter 6 verse 13 we see God telling Noah something let us hear I have determined to make an end to the flesh for the earth is filled with violence because of them When God saw how sinful man has become God decided to punish them by destroying the whole world So God told Noah that he will destroy the whole world with a flood But since Noah was a good man God loved him and wanted to save him So God commanded Noah to build an ark to protect himself and his family as well as every male and female species of land animals from the flood Now children do you know what an ark is and do you know what Noah did An ark is a big ship very huge in size strongly built and something which has a lot of space in it have you all seen a big ship yes in your school textbooks or in some tv programs you must have seen god asked noah to build a huge ship so that when the flood comes they will be saved noah made the ark according to the instructions of the god god said to noah you and your family enter the ark in genesis chapter 7 verse 1 so noah and his family entered the ark very happily as per the instructions of god pairs of each type of creatures were also made to move inside with noah into the ark and then the flood began do you know children it rained continually for 40 days and nights can you imagine raining continuously for so many days the level of water rose so high that even the mountains were under water all men and creatures on earth died in this huge flood only noah and his family and all the creatures that has allowed to enter into the ark were saved in this way god punished the generation who had become so disobedient wicked and sinful but he saved noah and his family who were just after the flood god blessed noah established a covenant with him as a sign of that god set the rainbow in the clouds children through this lesson we learned that God punishes everyone who disobeys and sin against him and God protects everyone who is obedient and just so children shall we learn a beautiful song it is a very simple yet very beautiful song which tells us that there is nothing that our god cannot do now all of you be prepared it goes like this 
my god is so big and so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do did you all like it come on all of you my god is so strong and so big and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do wasn't that beautiful yes now come on a third time repeat after me my god is so big and so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do did you all like it just four lines children keep this in your mind now dear children let us see whether you have understood the lesson we learned today clearly try to answer the following questions i am asking now question number 1 Why was God pleased with Noah? Yes, God was pleased with Noah because he was obedient to God and lived without sin. Very good. Now the second question. Why did God punish the earth with a flood? Think about it. Right? God punished all human beings on the earth because they committed sin they were disobedient to the god's commands finally god decided to punish them all except noah and his family next we are going to do some activity i want all of you to pay attention you can do this activity as a homework you have to take a chart paper you have to draw a big ship as shown in the picture which would be noah's ark inside the ship draw two pairs of as many animals as you wish color the ship and all the animals in it very beautifully make your noah's ark poster very colorful you can use sketch pens crayons water colors anything that you like you can take the help of your parents or your siblings also all right children make it as presentable as possible take a picture of it send it to your teacher before we meet in the next class all right my dear children great now let us conclude our class with a short prayer join your hands close your eyes and repeat after me dear loving god help me to lead an obedient life listening to you always obeying your commandments and always being a good child of yours amen so dear children i'll see you all the next week with the second part of the fourth chapter reflect on what we learned today promise yourself that you will never commit any kind of sin always obey god and take care dear children praise be to jesus christ